All right, guys, welcome back. I am out here today on a musky fishing mission. Actually, the entire year I've been on a musky fishing mission. I've probably been out 10 different times trying to catch one of these fish and unfortunately have yet to put one in the boat. So to maximize my chances, I'm camping out overnight on this island. Uh, one of the best times to fish for musky is either late in the afternoon or early mornings. So the best way to do that is to stay out on the lake to capitalize on the best times to fish. So anyways, I am going to get my tent set up here. I actually have a new tent I haven't shown on film yet. So I'm gonna get that set up and uh, show you guys what we're working with. All right, so this is a hammock tent made by Nightcap. Uh, suggested to me by someone named Derek who follows the channel. I actually used this on the group trip that we went on. Uh, worked very well. It rained so hard on that trip. Like, probably the hardest I've ever had while camping. And uh. Well, <laughs> it did It did the job. <laughs> I was hoping that would just stay up and I could uh, talk through this. Anyways, this is how it works. So yeah, this is what I'm using tonight. Uh, the good thing about this particular hammock is it can also just be set up on the ground. Um, it has the tent poles to keep it open, but it is a waterproof base on it so you can set it on the ground. There is another type that uh, you end up putting a sleeping pad in, but that one isn't waterproof. You'd have to put down a uh, tent mat or whatever. There's definitely a term for that. Anyways, yeah. So this is my little camp for the night. Um, I need to get back out on the water, but I have actually already caught a fish. No way. Bro, oh my god, what, what, that is so cool. All right guys, I came out here today to fish for some musky, but I just hooked into my first ever crappie. I've been fishing for, well, quite a few years, but pretty consistently for like the last four. Never have I hooked into one of these bad boys, super cool. Always exciting catching a new species. I'm going to uh, actually cast a bit more around here, see if I can get a couple. I think I'm gonna keep this fried up, try it out. But uh, so exciting, yeah. I was out here casting for muskie and it's always a bit of a confidence booster to try to just catch a fish in the boat. So had to uh, cast out a different bait, small bait, and see what we could catch. And here we go, first fish of the day. So yeah, super stoked to have caught my first crappie. Uh, I'll probably cook it up later here tonight, either on the fire, I have a little burner with me. But I need to get back on the water, try to get this muskie in the boat. Nice. 
All right, second fish of the day. Largemouth bass here. I honestly thought I just hooked into a bunch of weeds and then it started fighting back and I was in a bunch of weeds. Nice little fish. Time to put it back. Just a bass and a crappie so far. You? Just started. Just getting started, yeah. Nice, good luck. Yeah, you too, man. Hopefully you get something camera worthy. Thanks. All right, guys, it is hours later. Um, as you can see, it's dark now. Uh, no musky. I did see one big blow up, which got me super excited, but unfortunately, still no bites. Um, I'm at my campsite, but I'm going to cook and do everything out here on the boat. The mosquitoes are insane. Up in the woods there, it's just gnarly. And this is probably the best area anyways for me to sit down and get anything prepped anyway. So anyways, I'm gonna cook up some food and that crappie quick and then uh, get myself ready to uh, get in the hammock for the night. All right, I'm gonna give this uh, crappy a try. Um, not the best cooking today. Um, yeah, definitely not gonna be the best it could be because I used water, I didn't bring oil with me. Um, I just brought bare minimum gear, which meant I forgot a few things. It still looks great, but I'm sure the batter situation is a little soft. Mm-hmm. But 
think I screwed it. Try the bigger one. That one's a little better. The fish part of it is really good, but like the batter has just absorbed all the water. Mm. This thing is delicious. A little bit of spice. Well, it's pretty unfortunate that the crappie ended up being cooked the way it was. Um, I'll have to give them another shot one day. I think I'm going to do a little bit more finesse fishing as time goes on. Um, so hopefully that leads to more crappie opportunities. But uh, yeah, still delicious for what it was. I'm just going to eat this uh, little rice situation I got going on. And then I'm going to hunker down for the night. Uh, as I just said, the bucks are crazy. Um, hoping that it calms down before I hop in to the uh, hammock there because I'm just gonna end up bringing in so many even if I just hop in in less than like 15 seconds. It's pretty wild. Also, I need a new pan. That's half the reason the crappie went sideways. This pan that I have is, well, it's, it's kind of garbage. Um, it, if you don't have a ton of oil and even if you do, things usually stick to the friggin' thing. So anyone has suggestions on a good pan for uh, backcountry and camping adventures, let me know in the comments. But anyways, I'm gonna finish my food and then we're headed to bed. All right guys, I'm in my little cocoon here. It is so humid here tonight. Um, probably have to take the sweater off just to try and cool down and the sleeping bag is probably just gonna be my pillow because it is that hot like it is so humid I think it's around like 40 with the humidex today um, probably one of the major reasons that the uh, musky didn't bite or aren't biting I'm hoping that because it's much cooler in the morning that they are active it is also a new moon so hopefully you know <laughs> Luck is on our side and we can get a musky topside in the morning. Anyways, I'm going to shut her down, set a alarm for early in the morning because at first light, I want to be on the water. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Nice bass. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good fish. Isn't it? Yeah, we got a nice bass. Sweet. Yes! Buddy. All right, I've been uh, trying for musky, no luck. Switched back to the bass rig and caught this little fella. 
Beautiful fish. <laughs> oh, it's bigger than I thought. Well guys, unfortunately, there was no muskie on this trip. Um, I really put in some time casting and trying to get it done, but if anyone's been muskie fishing before, you know how difficult it can be. Some days you go just days and weekends without ever seeing one. Um, fortunately enough, my luck did change on this past weekend. Oh my god, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, musky baby. Musky baby. So there's a video coming up for that. But it was also just good to get out and get out camping. Um, I wanted to show that uh, hammock there. It's such a cool tent and so versatile if you were to bring it on a canoe trip, which hopefully I will hear soon. Um, the fact that you can lay it on the ground or hang it from a tree just makes it so useful. Like, especially if it's gonna rain or something, I'd much rather be up in the hammock off of the ground than uh, you know, being stuck in a situation where water could eventually get into your tent. So anyways, super cool tent um, made by Arctic Cat. Night Cat. It's definitely Night Cat. I, I apologize for butchering that one. But yeah, super versatile tent. Uh, would be great for canoe trips, any type of trip really. Something you could actually just keep in your truck somewhere, super small, and uh, have it in case you ever needed it. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, the video of some actual musky being caught will be coming out soon. But until then, guys, I thank you for watching as always. And uh, keep on going one day at a time. Oh, wow. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God.